Well, we're down here at Wheelie Caravan Park and we're just doing a day session here. Hopefully, we'll catch a couple of fish. Yep. Uh, got here about 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, been here for about two hours now. I think it's just got to 11 o'clock. Um, I've had one run. I hooked into the fish and it's only on for about three seconds and it just flooded yeah. off again. So I can't see it being a big fish. Um, but yeah, we're getting the knocks in that. So yeah, getting loads of runs. Hopefully, catch the actual runs on film. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. So uh, just had a take on my uh, right hand rod, just fishing in that. Just over the top of a gravel bar. Uh, that's just sort of being pushed out. So I've had a big vicious take off that ride and I've hooked into his fish and plodded about and just, just come off after like that, about two minutes. Just the hook just pulled out, changed the rigs because I just can't help but thinking it was the way the rig was sitting or the hook wasn't sharp. Do you know what I mean? So I just switched the rigs over and Will's just gone for a, uh, a little wander out there to do a bit of stalking. I don't know how he's getting on, he sort of just wandered off, so uh, yeah, I'll see how he's going to get on. But in the meantime, yeah, good. Well, on my own now for, for some of the session now. I've uh, been here actually quite a while and still nothing really. We haven't had bites. Well, we're seeing fish everywhere though, all on the surface. I'm trying to stalk them, but I just can't get to them, so giving that up. We're both on the bottom now. And I've, well, he's well, he's gone. And he's reeled in his rod, so I've I've cast like to an island spot, and um, I'm hopeful for a couple of fish. I really I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how the rest of the session is going to play out for me. But I'm on my own now for two hours, and I hope to actually catch a couple of fish so I can rub it in his face. But we never know what will happen. But. Hopeful for more to come. And he's in. He's just going to film the bite alarms going off. And just as I clicked the button, one went off. Quite a small common. <sighs> Lovely fight under the rod tip. Lovely fight under the rod tip. And he's still going. Look at that. Look at how he's going. Well, looks like it did happen when Liam was away. The fish have come to pay. Look at that. The hook has actually come out the net. So it was just in there. Amazing fight under the rod tip. Pulled me everywhere. And, and he is bigger than I thought he was. I'm getting calm. that was not expecting that in a small swim to the island it's probably six pounds maybe more but I'm gonna weigh him for you guys put some more on him because it is quite a hot day it's making me also can win it could be pushing seven pounds it's got a nice Nice little belly on him, but we'll get, we'll weigh him, 
and then we'll see. We'll get a picture and hopefully we'll cast the rod out and get another one. Well, that's one fish to me and Liam's not even here. Really did need him because, sorry for the filming, but was on my own and this fish was giving up a really good fight. On the, on the mat, it was seven pounds, three ounces. A really nice fish, common. It was a common carp and hopefully more to come. And as I'm filming, I just hope these rods roar off right now, but probably not gonna happen. But Liam's gonna be back in about two hours now, maybe, maybe even more, maybe less. But we, I'm going to be here a couple more hours, I think four more hours, and hopefully catch my fish. But it has taken a while to get the fish feeding. I think in the morning it was just maybe too hot or something because they were just cruising around, not feeding at all. But I just set my swim down in the island and put quite a bit of bait out. And I've seen the fish in there, so two of the rods went over and one ripped off. So got both of them back out there now, so I hope we'll catch another one. Well, the result of that bite was um, a really nice fish, but didn't get it on the bank, came off. So, don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully it goes off again, but it seems like it's camera's luck getting the bite. So maybe I'll put the camera on them again and hopefully they'll roar off. But every time I switch that camera on, the one that's filming right now, there's been a run. So hopefully <laughs> just after I film this I'll set it up again and I'll get another one. But I'm just gonna bait my spot and what I do is I get Every time I get like a bite or a fish take, I always bait up with about 20 boilies, maybe even more, but little and often every after fish so there's bait there so they can eat on it. So hopefully oh, I can catch that fish. Right, so he's in. Well, 10 pounds, two ounces. Lovely mirror. And that's two fish for me and zero for Liam. He's behind the camera, not liking that. But lovely fish, still fighting me. But I'm gonna get a picture of this and put him back. Oh, going well. If I have another fish, I'll be pretty proud. But Liam, you gotta catch one now. Yeah, mate. Well, it's beginning to be a really good session for me. Caught two fish now, one when Liam wasn't here and one when Liam was here. 10 pounds and seven pounder, so pretty good. Both commons and mirror. I'm just gonna show you the rig that I caught it on. So I just have your simple two and a half ounce leader, inline lead, and that just comes down to a size eight swivel, main line just attached to it, and then you got hook length of it. It's quite short hook length. But it's exactly the same line, so it's fully disguised on the bottom, so there's no difference. And that is a pineapple and banana, a dynamite boilie right there, and a little bit of fake corn on the top. And that's just to pop it up so it sits perfectly on the bottom, like so. The hook's on the, hook's on the deck, and the boilie's just pop popped up really nicely and use a simple hair but that is a size eight wide gate b quarter hook and that's been doing the business so let's hope i go and catch another one on this rig and liam is going to be very angry 
Yeah, so like Will said, he's, uh, he's had two decent fish now. And uh, yeah, I'm still yet to get off the mark, but it's got to about five o'clock now. And it is uh, more of an evening late, just a little knock on it right there. And um, yeah, I'm hoping in the next two hours or two and a half hours I can uh, bag myself a bite. Uh, I'm starting to get a few liners, I've just seen, so uh, hopefully one of them takes that uh, hook bait and I'll be into playing a fish. But it's, uh, it's looking good for a bite. But yeah, hopefully one comes. And hopefully you don't catch another. <laughs> Finally off the mark. It's taken all day, but I've managed to uh, get a little small one. Uh, I'll just bring them up for you. It's a nice little common. Probably just three, four pounds, but I'm happy with it all the same. The rod just ripped off. Just put a little bit of bait out and it just went mental. But yeah, uh, there it is. Pack a little fish. Wow. Right, so coming to the end of the session now. We'll be, uh, we'll be packing up shortly. Uh, it's not been a bad day, I suppose. Still getting the liner, so. Might have another fish. Maybe one more to come. But uh, yeah, we're going to start doing a slow pack up. Uh, we've had two, haven't we? Yeah, a nice seven pound and, hey, uh, and a ten. I just landed a small five pound top, what? Yeah, four, three pound top. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, little common. And uh, yeah. So it's not a bad session, I suppose. I guess so. We didn't blank, so he has caught fish. So and like we said at the start, I mean, moving the hook baits about like we've done all day, fishing new spots, chasing the fish about, it works well. I'm um, happy to be in a super state in that spot though. That's it, you put, your, you put all your eggs in one basket and you go. Know, Goes one way, doesn't it? We'll, uh, we'll come back if we have another fish, hopefully. Yep. If not, we'll, uh, we'll leave it till next time. Yep, well, um, our next video may take a while to shoot. I think Liam and his friend is going to Oxfordshire. Yeah, we're going to the Linear Complex, that's uh, for 48 later this week. And he'll probably film all that, so hopefully I'll put that video together and we'll have that video. But I think next time you and me to get together, will be quite a while. Yeah, yeah. Fair old buy back. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Three weeks I'd say, maximum. But we'll do little videos, each of us, individuals here and there. Yeah. And, uh, Short we'll sessions like I have done. And uh, we'll keep you up to date with all that. Yeah. Alright, let's get the camera in because it's going to rain. <laughs> yeah, let's go.